Hey everyone, this has been a big year for Dark Arrow as we've reached several important milestones in developing the Dark Arrow 1. We've shared many of these achievements on this channel, but in this video we'll highlight why 2022 was special beyond the technical challenges and we'll discuss what we have planned for the future. Basically, we want to give you a better sense of the Dark Arrow Master Plan and how we're executing on it. Let's get into it. For those of you who aren't familiar with our mission and story, we're currently developing the Dark Arrow 1, the fastest, longest range aircraft you can build in your garage. We're a team of three brothers, and we left our jobs in 2017 to go full time on this, moonlighting the initial research and development work going back to 2014. In a way, we've been moonlighting this project since we were kids, as we've had a lifelong passion for aviation. We always recognize that we do great things when we work together, and Dark Arrow is the product of the camaraderie we've built up over the years. Dark Arrow's master plan has always been about solving three major challenges. The first challenge is getting the prototype aircraft complete and into flight testing. The second is moving into production to build more than one of these airplanes. And the third is funding this whole endeavor. Our videos often focus on the engineering side of things, but as we look back at 2022, we want to share how our vision for Dark Arrow is coming together on all three of these fronts. First, let's talk about the airplane. 2022 brought us closer to the finish line on developing the Dark Arrow 1 prototype. In the spring, we completed work on our canopy installation, which was the last major airframe structure to be assembled. This included installation of the canopy itself, but also the integration of the canopy release mechanism and the latch system for keeping it closed in flight. After this, we focused our efforts on getting the plane into first engine start, as well as first taxi tests. This push was important because we learned a lot about how the entire aircraft would behave when fully assembled and running. We got to see how the engine and the airframe interacted when being run, as well as how the airplane and landing gear reacted to simple taxiing maneuvers. Painting the airframe has been a huge focus over the last months of 2022, with paint now applied to most of the airframe, including the control surfaces and other small parts. We also did two rounds of ground vibration testing this year, which gave us insight as to how the airframe will behave at high speeds before moving into flight testing. In parallel with our ground vibration testing, we were able to do an empty weight check on the entire airframe for the first time. This was a huge milestone for us as we confirmed we were on target with the aircraft's projected empty weight. This bodes well not just for the performance characteristics we are targeting, but also shows that our manufacturing process is tightly controlled and produces parts that meet our specifications. This is super important for our goals in the coming year for producing kits beyond the prototype. Throughout the development of the Dark Arrow 1, we've been thinking a lot about manufacturing and mass production. This has driven us to design processes and build tooling that is compatible with production of multiple kits, not just the prototype. The major thing we really needed was a space to start building kits and ramp up production. We spent months looking at different locations in the area, trying to find something that would meet our requirements. In early 2022, we identified and secured a suitable space. In between development on the prototype this year, we worked to get this space built to our requirements and move production equipment there, including ovens, molds, and tooling. From this standpoint, 2022 was huge for us because we now have the space needed to transition from prototype work to production of customer kits. This brings us to the challenge of funding all of this. Dark Arrow is self-funded, meaning that we have no outside investors, just what the three of us have put into it. From the beginning, we knew this company was a risky endeavor, and we didn't believe in asking other people to invest their money if we weren't prepared to do so ourselves. We also believed in maintaining control over the company vision to help fuel risk-taking, creativity, and attempts at new techniques that hadn't been seen before in kit aircraft. Our initial funding provided us with a stable runway for prototype development on the Dark Arrow 1. But as we get closer to first flight, we want to be in a position where we can be ready to develop the first kits. In the background, we built Dark Arrow into a sustainable business that funds development work. And in 2022, we were able to ramp up our aerospace composites courses, allowing us to build out the new shop space. If you've been a part of these courses, bought any products from us, or even just watched one of these videos, You've helped fund this endeavor and make it a reality. And for that, we thank you for playing a role in this journey. As we head into 2023, we're set to execute on our objectives as a team with the foundation we established in 2022. Let's start with flight testing. One of the more exciting developments with the aircraft this past year has been meeting with test pilot Sean Van Hatten of Initial Approach Aerospace. We've discussed our design with him and talked through some tests and changes we'll be conducting based on his feedback. More importantly, we've established a plan for flight testing the Dark Arrow 1 in 2023. When Sean returns, we'll begin executing on our flight test plan, starting with high-speed taxi testing, leading us into first flight, 
which will lead us into envelope expansion of the aircraft. With the commencement of flight testing, we'll look to complete the transition from prototype development to production ramp up with our first kits slated for construction in 2023 at our new shop. It's been a long road to get to this point and we're really excited for the year ahead. If you're just tuning in for the first time or if you've been here from the beginning, we think you're gonna be really excited about what we have in store for 2023. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.